everybody welcome back to my channel my name's charlotte if you haven't been here before if you have then welcome back um, to another home vlog today i'm going to be trying out the joby gorilla pod mobile vlogging kit which i have very kindly been gifted by joby to try out and see how we get on with this so i'll be setting up the equipment and taking it out and about um seeing how I get on really. It looks really good. It's described as like a full starter kit. So it's got the tripod, an LED light, microphone to improve your sound. You can attach and detach the parts as you please. So it's very versatile and it's for um, mobile vlogging or smaller cameras. It has got a weight limit, which I shall find in a moment. Um, but yeah, it's not suitable for the Canon G7X Mark II, which I use generally. Um, so I'm gonna try it with my phone. I have an iPhone 12 Plus, maybe, or Max. I don't, I don't really know what it is, but the camera quality should be okay. Um, and I'll show you how we set it up and we'll go from there. Also gonna have a chat with you guys today about my thoughts on the UK Disney Cruise Line staycation. It's everywhere on the internet at the moment and I think it's on quite a lot of our minds within the Disney community. So I've been thinking about it probably daily and I'm just gonna let you guys know my thoughts and where I'm at with that. Um, and I'd really like to know what you guys are thinking as well. As I'm filming this, there's only a few days until dates are potentially released, so yeah it's, it's all very exciting so here's the back of the box for the vloggers kit and you can see we've got the gorilla pod mobile rig i've actually got a gorilla pod tripod just like this upstairs it was the first one i ever used um I rate that quite highly actually they wrap around things and are, are really quite good it's got the mobile microphone and the bemo led light and then there's some pictures of how it all comes together now everything is included within the box here and it's all packaged up very nicely. We've got the little Joby logo there. Oh, that's quite big. That's nice. That's the microphone um, wind muff thingy. Um, we've got instructions here, which I'm gonna have a read through right now and start assembling the kit. I followed the instructions so you get three booklets um, one for the LED light which is on right now which is why I am kind of bright from this side because that's on ready you get one for setting up of the microphone and then you get one for the um, tripod rig thingy um, which is all very easy I mean if I can do it then anybody can because um, I'm not terribly technical and I'm not particularly good at setting up camera equipment um but yeah i've managed the only thing i couldn't do was attach the gopro so in the picture here this third arm <laughs> is used for a gopro um it's a very old gopro that i've got here um so I had that, I've got it ready. However, I think the clip that I have here for the GoPro is um, for the newer GoPro because we had a GoPro years ago and then got one um, back in 2019 for Disney World. And I think this might be the really old GoPro, but this might be for the new GoPro. So I can't, um, I can't get the clippy on, so I can't get it on there. But just to give you an idea, that would kind of sit there like that. Um, so then you've got the option, so you could have one kind of facing that way and one facing yourself. So you can get multiple shots and multiple views at once, which is actually really good, especially for like theme park vlogging, which I do. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are doing as well. So the LED light um, from the vlogging kit is very strong. Do not do what I just did and take off the casing to charge it up and then turn it on without putting the casing back on because I just really blinded myself. Uh, <laughs> can see again now and it's fine with the lights on. Um, but yeah, 
So to turn that on and off, there's actually buttons underneath which you just hold down and then that will go off. It's, it's all very straightforward. The microphone clips in to your phone and it does come with the adapter. So if you've got the iPhone with the slanty, like long square thing to charge it, the newer ones, then there's an adapter to put the round plug into the thin plug. This is so untechnical. If any of you guys are watching this and you know like what kind of cables and things these are, please ignore me. <laughs> Cause I really don't and I'm not an expert. But yeah, this is a setup that probably took me less than 10 minutes to prepare. The iPhone clips in to the top and you can adjust this um, portion to fit whichever, well, it doesn't have to be an iPhone, I guess, but to fit whichever phone that you have there. So um, it's all very secure and then you tighten it using the round bits at the back here too. So that's very safe in there. And then also, as I mentioned before, the tripod is bendy and will go wherever you want it. So you can think about kind of, if you're filming from above, you can, oh, Oh, sorry mate. But yeah, you can adjust that to where you want it to be before you start filming. It's quite difficult with one hand, but that bends down. Um, the tripod legs, probably easy to show you here, bend so you can get that in the position that you want it as well. Um, and what's good about this tripod, I think I did it on my first trip. Woo first trip to Disney World. Sorry, I'm doing it with one hand and I really don't want to damage anything. <laughs> but on my first trip to Disney World, when I was holding it on like Big Thunder Mountain, I would wrap this around the handlebar slightly and like bend it into a place where I knew it wasn't gonna come off so I could film on ride, but know that it was safe. And um, this would actually be so good for that because you've got your microphone um, to get rid of the wind noises. So yeah. I would definitely like to try this on rides. I wonder if we're allowed to film at Chessington next week on rides. And then what we do guys is link up the Joby app to your phone. So go and download it like from the app store and that kind of connects in with the brightness of the LED. So I can turn that down as so. Ooh, oh, okay, that's probably a bit better, to be honest. That was very bright. Um, and I think it connects in with the microphone as well. Um, so it's all kind of working together in sync. And then you start recording. Hello. <laughs> so we're all set up, feeling very sturdy and secure there. Um, filming on both. I'm going to see how they both come out. And shortly I'm going to take the um, Joby Gorilla Pod outside and just to see how the microphone performs, to see what the lighting is like and so on. But yeah, it feels very sturdy and very nice actually. I think if I were to be walking around with this, I would feel like a mega profesh, like a news reporter or something. I know some people do have the um, microphones on their vlogging cameras anyway. I've never had one before, so... Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I've moved over to filming just on my phone using the vlogging kit. And yeah, all I can think about is that I feel like an actual like filmer, like very profesh. The only problem I'm having with my phone right now is that after about 15 seconds, the screen's going dark, so I can't see what I'm filming. Um, and for me, I know it doesn't bother some people, but for me, I need to see like, what I'm filming to see where I am in the shot and things so that's what you do with my dark screen settings so I'll have a look into that it's not terribly windy out here right now but I guess if I were to go for a walk then the microphone quality would come in it would be interesting to compare the microphone quality with that of what I was doing on my other camera because this is uh, meant to make it super crisp so we'll soon see there is a little baby girl headbutting my ankles right now what are you doing? What are you up to, Cheeky? I'm loving the lighting that this gives. And I love that you can turn it up and down depending on kind of like how light your room is and your environment. That's very cool. I really like this. I'm gonna switch it off because I need to charge up the LED light properly. I don't want it to die completely. So I'm gonna move back onto the normal camera. Really look forward to using this setup out and about in the coming few weeks. And I'll link the exact product down below. So in case any of you guys are interested, um, it's easy to find there for you.
So I believe that these setups retail for approximately £180 and if you just pop in Joby Vloggers Kit and um, Brillapod into Google it's going to come up with the places you can get it. I know it's available on Amazon and via Joby directly and I'm sure other electronic places as well. Because I'm filming with my phone I'm like looking at the bottom of the screen but I guess the camera is over here. Yeah, the camera is over there on an iPhone. It's so tricky going between devices because you get used to one and then you're on another and you're just like, whoa, what goes on? I don't know. But as I say, it feels very sturdy and secure and I do feel very professional. Like I feel like if I was walking around outside in like a theme park or somewhere, I keep mentioning theme parks, it's because that's where I like filming the most. It's where I'm happiest filming, it's what I like. I like to be at Disney. <laughs> I like to film Disney trips. <laughs> I know it's been a while since any of us have been there. Well, here in the UK anyway. Um, but we can go to UK theme parks again. Yay! So I'm just going to dismantle this to put the light on charge. Um, and I've just spotted this cute little protective bag with the Joby logo on again and a drawstring up here which I suppose is for your LED light because that's quite fragile it's obviously got a bulb and stuff inside of it and I guess the microphone probably fit in there too and if you've got your GoPro you could use it for that as well to keep things safe and then the tripod all folds down so it's straight like this so it wouldn't take up too much room in a bag at all. Hey guys so it's way later now um after work and once i'd finished showing you the joby mobile vlogging kit I had to rush out and have my eyelashes done and eyebrows they feel really long i think it's because it's obviously been ages since i've been able to have them done um so it's going to take some getting used to and i think they'll look better once i've got makeup on i've got no other makeup on at the moment i've just taken it all off and done my skincare um which is probably why my face is a little bit red in places right now the vlogging kit i really like i think it's a really good way to get into vlogging so it's got everything you need like the light and the microphone and the tripod but you only have to use the bits that you actually want to use at that time so it's very versatile and if you're perhaps just starting to vlog and don't want to buy a camera to you know to see if you like it then to use your mobile or even if you're going places and you don't really want to take the big camera out to use your mobile is very convenient and to have all of that professional setup with a phone is brilliant so yeah, I'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of that and I'll keep you updated as to how I'm finding it. Thank you again to JB for sending me it to try. I like it a lot so far. And as you can see, it's bedtime. It's actually probably not really bedtime for, for many of you guys. It's like, what's the time? It's like just gone eight-ish. It's still a bit light outside, um, but pace is just settled. I've come to bed. I've got this new um, spring type thin gown on, which I got in Primark the other day, which you may have seen if you watched that vlog. But yeah, this is very comfy. And for five pounds, well, wow, what a bargain. Just watching the bold type on Netflix. And I remember that I didn't talk to you guys about the Disney Cruise Line sailing that I said I would. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it has been on my mind a bit about what to do, whether it's something I want to explore and potentially book and get excited about or whether it isn't. And I've got pros and cons for both. I know that everybody who's done a Disney cruise, they fall in love with it. They say it's amazing. Um, they really, really enjoy it and say like, once you've done a Disney cruise, it becomes your favorite Disney thing to do, like um, over even going to the parks for some people. So they're very highly rated, which is obviously a pro. It would also be like a fix of Disney magic at a time when none of us have had any for quite some time now. So that would be very, very nice. I have always wanted to try the Disney Cruise Line because of the food offerings and the service and the shows and entertainment. They're just meant to be amazing. And the fact that it's going from the UK 
and from London Tilbury, which is like an hour or so away from me, it seems like a really good opportunity to try a cruise. And will they ever do this again from the UK? Probably not. So it's probably actually quite like a historic thing. Like in the future, we might say, oh, remember that one year they did the UK sailing? That's because of the coronavirus pandemic. On the same note, do I want my first Disney cruise and Paisley's first Disney cruise to be bobbing along the outskirts of grey England? Probably, I'll say probably not, but it's not what I had in mind. I thought when I did my first cruise, I'd be going to Castaway Quay on the lovely blue seas, not our murky brown seas. It's not what I had in mind. And I know things aren't perfect right now, so we should just be grateful for what is available. However, the other factor is that it's gonna be a lot of money, I guarantee. Disney's expensive in every sense of the word, and it would be a very big push to do this. I mean, we have Florida in September, we have Disneyland Paris in December. Whether either of those go ahead, I don't know. If I had a crystal ball, and could see that those trips were going to be cancelled because we may not be able to go long haul, may not be able to go to France because their cases are bad at the moment. If both of those trips were going to be cancelled and I wasn't going to need spending money and Universal, I've got tickets but I, I need an annual pass so I need to save up to, to change that over to the three park annual pass. Um, I need Halloween Horror Nights tickets. I need to book a night over at Universal for Halloween Horror Nights. There's all kinds of expenses that come with the Florida holiday. I need outfits. I need, I don't need new ears, but I probably will buy new ears. So could the money that I could potentially use on this cruise be needed for that? And if I don't do the cruise or look at it at least, and then the holidays get canceled, will I regret that? It's very difficult to say guys very tricky what are you guys doing everybody on instagram is wanting to go and there's been a lot of hoo-ha this week because disney pulled two of the locations so i know they were looking at um originally going from newcastle london tilbury southampton and liverpool i think i've just done that the right way around <laughs> my geography's not great um but they just pulled two of the locations i think they pulled liverpool and london tilbury or Newcastle and London Tilbury. It was definitely Tilbury, which is where I would have gone from. And then one of the northern ones got pulled off the website. The dates are all disappearing and changing. There's rumours that it's not happening at all. There's rumours that it got leaked and Disney weren't prepared to release the information, but were forced to due to the leak. So I just don't know what to think. <laughs> like anything, it's also very uncertain. But I'm looking forward to seeing the actual information from Disney because I think it was actually like today or tomorrow that they were meant to go on sale to um, Castaway Club members, DVC members, what have you. So pricing would have been leaked all over the internet so we'd at least have an idea. Um, that hasn't happened as of yet that I'm aware of so who knows. Yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. If you've done a Disney cruise, tell me all about it please in the comments below. I'll leave you guys here. And the next time you see me, we will be either on our way to Chessington World of Adventures or at Chessington World of Adventures. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this vlog, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. See you real soon.